Hey kiddos, happy Wednesday. Can you believe we are like in the middle of this digital learning week? You guys have done such a good job. Thank you for having just one document for digital learning. Thank you for sharing that with me and Miss Cross so that we can see the work you've been doing. I've actually put, put, I've actually put a whole bunch of grades in the great book for work that you've done at home and it's just such good work and I appreciate the effort you guys are putting in. This is hard for all of us. Believe me, I want to be in school with you guys. This being at home is for the birds. Um, but I just appreciate that we can do this together. Um, I look forward to our morning meetings and um, so today for social studies, we are going to focus on two of the first generals of the Civil War. So there was four generals we're going to talk about total. But these are two of the first, and then the other two kind of took over towards the end of the war. So we've already talked about Abraham Lincoln being the president of the North. He was anti-slavery, and we talked about Jefferson Davis yesterday, and he was the president of the Confederate state. Um, and um, just really getting knowledgeable on the people, because next week we're going to talk more about the battles. So today we're going to talk about two generals, one for the North, one for the South. Okay, so we are, if you haven't already, I'm sure you have because you know how this is going to work. I want you to go to content and I want you to go to day three of week 4.2, which is the week we're in. And I want you to open that up and I'm going to tell you when to click through the slides, okay? So, um, we are going to start on slide number two, which is Robert E. Lee. It's a picture of him. He was born in 1807, and he was born on a Virginia plantation. Okay, Virginia is considered a southern state, so you can probably already infer which side he's going to be on. Okay, slide number three. Robert E. Lee went to West Point. West Point Academy is a really big, still to this day, military school in the United States. People still go there today. Um, and all of these generals went there. Um, and so this is a picture of West Point on this slide. And this was in the year 1855. So this was a bit after probably ro when Robert E. Lee was there. And it looks very different from this today, but still the same building is there, which is cool. If you Google it, you can find it. All right, slide number four. Robert E. Lee ended up being the leading general of the Confederate Army. Now, remember, the Confederate Army was the name of the southern states that seceded or left the Union. So he was in charge of the southern army. You can see by his outfit, that's a very southern outfit with that little tiny, like, bow tie that's on him there. Um, and slide number five is a video. If you should be able to click on the blue lines on that video, and you can pause me, and watch that video and then I'm going to keep going now but if you pause me so when you come back we will be on slide six so go ahead and pause me now watch the video and then come back all right welcome back I hope you liked that Robert E. Lee video we're going to talk about the northern side now so we are finished with Robert E. Lee and the southern side we're going to talk about the northern side and on the northern side there was a general whose name was Ulysses S. Grant that is quite a name, Ulysses. Ulysses S. Grant. He was born in Ohio, which is a northern state. He was raised on a farm, and he loved horses, and that's something you're always going to hear about him. Now, this picture was taken in black and white, but with our technology nowadays, they can add color, and I just love it because look how blue his eyes are in slide number six. All right, click on slide number seven. He graduated from West Point as well. Do you see this theme here? And he fought in the Mexican-American War. And you should be thinking, wait, I think Jefferson Davis fought in that war too. And you're right. Remember, all of these guys were part of the United States that was a united country before the war. So they could have even been friends. They could have fought next to each other. But now they're divided. They went all went to West Point together. They all fought in this war. But now they are separated. Um, and so he was on the northern side now, but t he fought in the Mexican-American War. Slide number eight. Ulysses S. Grant was the leader of the Union Army, and he won the war for Lincoln. So he was the Union. Remember, Union is what we call the people in the north, and um, he was the leader of that army. 
And so on slide number nine is another video. So this is where I'm going to say goodbye. And you are going to click on the Ulysses S. Grant video. You're going to watch that. And then there's going to be some work you have to do after today. But I appreciate seeing you and being near you for a little bit of the day. And um, yeah, I hope you have a good day. And I will see you again tomorrow. We're going to talk about two more generals. All right, y'all. Happy Wednesday.